An enterprise network requires 100 equal size subnets starting from 172.16.0.0 slash 16. To subnet this network correctly, the first thing that I do is write out the subnet mask. There's my slash 16 subnet mask. I'm going to need to borrow bits from the host portion. If I borrow one bit, I have two subnets. Two bits would be four subnets, eight subnets, 16, 32, 64, 128. I'll need to create 128 subnets to meet the requirement of having 100 equal size subnets. So I've highlighted the borrowed bits in the subnet mask. We've borrowed 7 bits. 2 to the 7th power is 128, creating 128 subnets. The last one in the subnet mask is in the 2's place. So I know that the networks will go up by 2. So I can go down here and fill in the networks. The first network will be 172.16.0.0 slash 23, because we have 23 ones now in the subnet mask, and the next network will be 172.16.2.0 slash 23. And we can see that if I list out the networks, the networks will continue to go up by 2, and if we go all the way up, I'll skip a few here, the last subnet will be 172.16.254.0 slash 23. If I was to list out all of the subnets, I would have 128 subnets. For hosts in each subnet, we have nine zeros in our subnet mask, and 2 to the ninth power is 512, so we'll have 512 minus 2, so 510 usable hosts per subnet. An easy way to figure out the hosts is, eight zeros is 256 hosts, and every zero added on doubles the number of hosts, so 256 plus one more zero would be 512 hosts, minus two for 510 usable.